Hello, my name is Dr. Ronnie Bannock and I'm an integrative ophthalmologist. I want to welcome you to my five-part video series on macular degeneration. In this video series, I'm going to be sharing with you some important facts you need to know about this potentially blinding condition and also, most importantly, how you can prevent it. So this is video number one, where I'm gonna be explaining to you what macular degeneration is and how it affects the back of the eye. So macular degeneration is a leading cause of blindness in the world, and it tends to affect individuals who are older, typically above the age of 65. Now what happens in macular degeneration is that the retina, which is the light sensing tissue in the back of the eye, begins to degenerate. And the retina is basically a critical part in terms of our vision processing. The retina is responsible for capturing light energy that comes from the front of the eye and then transforming that light energy into electrical signals. And then these electrical signals are then sent to the brain for processing. So the retina is very critical in terms of how we see shapes, colors, motion, and then ultimately form an image. So the retina is quite metabolically active. It is constantly in processing light energy. It requires a tremendous amount of energy itself. And then it also creates many waste products. And those waste products are cleared by a cell layer underneath the retina, which is called the retinal pigment epithelium. And these cells, these retinal pigment epithelium cells or RPE cells are basically like the trash collectors of the retina. And what happens in macular degeneration is that these RPE cells begin to dysfunction. They are not able to clear waste products as effectively. And then the waste products develop, they accumulate underneath the retina. And these waste products are called drusen. Now drusen happens to be the German word for pebble or stone. And uh, this term was given to drusen because these waste products look like little whitish yellow pebbles or stones that accumulate underneath the retina. Eventually, these drusen, as the RPE cells continue to dysfunction, the drusen grow in number and size. They begin to coalesce, and then the drusen eventually cause dysfunction of the retina because those waste products are not being cleared effectively. And that is ultimately what causes vision loss in macular degeneration. So even though it is called macular degeneration, it truly begins, the process begins with dysfunction of RPE cells and waste product accumulation underneath the retina. Now this process does not develop overnight. In fact, it takes not just weeks or, or uh, months for this to develop. It takes years and perhaps even decades for some of these changes to develop that ultimately can affect vision. And in a sense, this is actually uh, beneficial because this slow process means that there is time to intervene, that one can take measures to protect against this from happening and also pr protect against it from progressing and ultimately lead to vision loss. But we'll be talking about that more later on in the series in video number five. But in the meantime, I'm next video, in my next video, video number two, I'm going to be explaining about the two different types of macular degeneration and what the symptoms of macular degeneration can be. So please tune in for my next video.